All right. Um, hi Annie. Ooh, I just found it. Okay, never mind. So, hi Annie. Um, just here. I just spent like 15 minutes trying to get my computer's mic to work, but now it does work. Hopefully. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna go in and show you everything that I've got. Yep, nope, you you can't see. No looking. Yet until I figure out where to hell. It, yep, you don't see anything. Nothing at all. Alright, nope, you didn't see that. Not at all. So, um, I'm not really sure yet, but I think that this new space that I've created is quite considerably smaller than the one I created on the laptop, which is odd because I did like the entire chunk rendering, but meh, whatevs. So, um, okie dokie. So, I guess we will start from the beginning. I'm I'm probably going to build walls in between these sections by the way just to give each section more a more enclosed feel. All right, so we're starting with Democritus here. He's the guy who is like, "Oh, some are made of square, like the wood is square and water is circular. It's circular water and it's all solid. It's very solid." As one can clearly see, this is um it's it's um it's very solid. So yeah, everything was solid, and he believed that things were different colors and different shapes based on the substance, per se, a gold would be a golden diamond, or whatevs, like ice over there, and stuff like that. So yeah, he he was pretty simple, but I liked his ideas, because they're, they're more creative. I mean, like, who needs circles? Dumb old Dalton. I like these, these beautiful, beautiful, sexy sexy diamonds over here yeah anyways moving on so then we came over to Dalton who was like oh everything's circular like this giant pumpkin atom that is entirely made of pumpkins it's all circular and um, yeah this this the Dalton guy he was also like oh yeah and um, by the way these atoms they're also solid so yeah just just in case you guys were wondering yeah, this is our um our beautiful cake atom, which is also solid mostly. Fortunately, cake doesn't really stack that well, but but you guys get the point. Everything was solid. Everything was circular. It was round and perfect in, in Dalton's world. So then we pop over here to that Thompson guy, and he was like, "Oh well, there are these little electron thingies, and I like plum pudding, so I shall call it the plum pudding model." And so he was like, "Well, there are these thingies called electrons." That's an electron, and they um they sort of reside on the atom. Yeah, they're just they're just like that. They're just like you know chilling out there. These little these little plums in the pudding. Yeah. So um that's pretty much it for Dalton. I mean Thompson. He was a pretty pretty straightforward guy. Like plum pudding and sh for schnizzle. And then we came over to that other random dude who was like. Oh, but schnizzle! There's like these these um these proton thingies. They're like it's like a nucleus. Like like what is this? And he was like, okay, so um now that we found this big old mass of whatchamahickeys, these protons thingy, this big red blob, I theorize that there is a border around the atom, and within there's a bunch of protons and a mass and some electrons just just chilling. Chilling around, just floating around there. Oh, balls! The sun's gonna go down. So yeah, that's um, that's that. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. And go down. Oh, by the way, I tried to build like a train track system through all this, but it didn't work out too well, and it would take way too long. So I just sort of gave up. Um, yeah, and now since the sun is going down I'm probably gonna sleep so I will just hover around these until the sun goes down and I'll sleep and turn it back to daytime you'll see what I mean in a second so yeah so that guy who is like there's a nucleus and there are like protons and there's this big bunch of protonous protons that are like proton because they're like pro positive charged electron 
positive sleeping time. And hey, what do you know? It's daytime again. Any hoozles, now that the sun is rising again, moving on. And then, there was this Chadwick guy who was like, you know that awkward moment when you find out that your nucleus actually also has these things called neutrons and not just protons? Well, that was him. And he was like, oh snap, there are these things, they're called neutrons, and they're like, they're chilling in with those protons, getting all warm and cuddly. And Minecraft just froze, didn't it? Yep, yep, I'm out of memory. And <sighs> don't I know it. Yeah, sorry. Anyways, hi. Go away, Eleanor. That's my sister's friend in the background. Um, Minecraft and Fraps, my screen recorder just crashed, so I gotta restart everything. But no matter, just took a second or two. And boom. Oh, oh, snap. Okay, so here we are again, right? Right back where we left. There are these things called neutrons. There's these little white neutral things. And still we've got this, this beautiful little... Um, barrier around the now complete nucleus, or as we know it at least. We've got these little electrons chilling, chilling electrons, just chilling out. And then we got the boar guy, and he was like, You know what? These models are boring. So he came up with his own little thing, and we call it the boar model because the guy named Boar made it. Shut up and go away. Oh my god, you people, you two, shut up. Go away. Get out of my room. Ugh, I hate my sister. And her friends. That's just for your information, Annie. Moving on. So then the boar guy was like, oh, the electrons, they're all beautiful and stuff and... Shit. They're all beautiful and stuff and they travel around on these beautiful little round rings. And please note that round rings are hard to create when you're building them out of squares. It's just slightly impossible. In case you didn't know. Yeah, so um, I tried my best, though. So yeah, so the electrons are going in their beautiful little orbits around these round, beautiful, beautiful rings. And they're just like orbital and orbiting and around in circular orbits. And, um, and he was like, well, I think there might be a barrier between the nucleus and the electrons, but I don't really know. So like, yeah. So that's why I built this glass barrier. So you're like, uh, is there a barrier there or not? You're like, I don't know. It's just this glass thing, actually. So yeah, we can, um, <coughs> pop down inside of here and be like, yep, the, um, the nucleus is still here, by the way. It's still got neutrons in, um, stuff. Yeah, we're all good on that. Now if I could just get my ass out. Oh, wow, okay, and there you are, you're at the bottom of the screen, you just messaged me. Okay, just a minute, I'm replying to you. Okay, just just a minute, Annie. I'm I'm typing to you. Actually, this is this is a good opportunity. Actually, right now I am typing to your past self. Isn't that pretty epic? By the time you're watching this, like I will have been typing to your past self. I I just think that's pretty cool. Okay. Um. Okay, now that I've told you everything that you need to know, um, back to this. So, yep, we've got these beautiful little boar models, and they're all oracle, lol. And the electrons, they travel around on these rings. And, oh yeah, the reason that you see the pro the nucleus is so dark there is because I kind of fucked up uh, while making this. And, as it turns out, I accidentally built the, um, thing solid. And when it builds it solid, like the glass is a solid spherical orb, what happens is it creates a lighting error that makes everything like inside it dark. You know, it's glass and light is supposed to go through it. So I have to go inside and like manually create a little, little area. This is probably really loud, by the way, for you. So I have to go inside and like create a little area so you can just like see, you know, the nucleus. So um, let me do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, um, 
I'm back. Guess what I just found out? I just found out that there's some button on my keyboard that's like a shortcut for Fraps, my screen recorder, and this button apparently closes everything that I'm doing with Fraps. So yeah, that's something good to know. That's why this might be starting at like an odd time. Anyways, where was I? Yes, the um the bore models just carved out that little the little innards for that nucleus there. It's pretty sexy. And then we've got this nucleus over here, which I already carved out his innards also. So guess that's all good. Balls. So uh actually you know actually I think nope, nope. Never mind, I lie. To go to that nucleus also. So yeah, that one. Then I've got to go to this one, which is going to be annoying as fuck, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. In the meantime, yeah, that's all I've got for now, which actually means, and no, I'm kidding, that's not all I've got. All I need now is to build the cloud models. And the cloud models get their own premium space because they will require a lot of space to build. So the cloud models will get the diamond area. So, um, yeah. That's um, that's pretty much it. Got a little boron electrons there in our Democritus, Dalton, Thompson, Plum Pudding, the Nucleus guy, the Neutron guy. So yeah, so we just need one more. And that won't that shouldn't take me more than an hour to finish up this. All of this took me three hours. What? Yeah, three hours in total. I know I've explained it all in a pretty short amount of time, but I just realized I have no idea how long I've been recording for, which probably means I'm going to have to segment this video into two parts. Balls. But, um, yeah, so I hope you're happy with everything. And we, according to my calculations, we're getting an A on this project. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Wish me luck with building the cloud models, and I'm going to go post this to YouTube now. Yeah, well, there you go, future self. I just realized I pressed the weird button again. Damn it.